Hey guys, it's J5 3518 here, back with Anime Chat with J5. I'm going to review to you episode 3. And let's start the show. Episode 3 is called Ray Hino, or better known as Sailor Mars, the third Sailor Scout. Queen Burl, as we all know the main enemy, decides to call Jedi to having of his failures before Nephite and, Zo and Zoizite, the two Dark Kings, decide to take his place and take in charge along with him just to finally capture and destroy the Sailor Scouts by looking for the legendary Silver Crystal Moon, the power of the Moon Palace, in case inside of it. Meanwhile, in the shrine, Usagi, Sailor Moon, meets the shrine maiden Rei Hino, a powerful, a powerful psychic and a possible supernatural girl who is enabled to contact the spirit realm with her unique abilities. They realize that what apparently me as her name is, the girl disappeared and somehow connects to a rumor about an evil spiritual bus known as the Demon 6 o'clock bus. 6 o'clock p.m. bus. Rare apparently living alone and has to lament with herself with her mysterious powers. And during the, a, a spiritual ceremony, she sees a vision of a psychic captured by Jedi and taken on the Demon bus. Apparently, it's the reverse around. Later on, you see that Jedi captures Rey and a bunch of Japanese boys. Kids, I love this episode. It's beautiful. The music is beautifully orchestrated. The animation for the three transformation is still looks good. Rey as a character is a strong, compassionate one out of the group. She is the one with the spiritual telekinetic powers, which is interesting since you know, since Sailor Moon has their beauty. You have Ami with her intelligence and her beauty, obviously, and you have this one with her very. Fiery personality, get it? Because she's too, too hot to trot. <laughs> Jedi is a villain. He's evil, yeah, but, you know, he's going to fail besides Zelzite and Nephite, who are the better, you know, superior dark kings of the dark world, of the Negaverse, or the Dark World, as they call it. Originally, it was called the Negaverse, but it's called the Dark World. Hmm. I wonder if Marvel got to them changing the Dark World. See what I mean, but Okay, you all know the joke. Dark world, evil, light, good. All right. Transformation for Ray is again just like Xander Moon, just stunning. We get this big pillowette of her celestial figure. I'm not making it so naked, goddamn it. I'm just gonna say it the way I saw it. A beautiful embers of fire and her and passion and rage as being compass her transformation. And how does she beat the bad guy? With a little spiritual flame tag that gets him off. Yeah. Lane says, run like a flaming piece of paper. Ah. This is an IRS report, but then that means you're screwed anyway. The music was beautiful. You know, very, represented, very rock metal. You know me, I'm all about the metal. Rock on. We got to see Queen Barrel and all her evilness. Evil. <laughs> yeah, you know, seeing them doing the usual action kick butt is always good to see in this. You know, we still get their personalities very right nice. At first, when Usagi saw her, I just thought when she glared at her on the school bus, and yes, this happens in the series, in this episode. When they first meet her, they see her in dressing usual clothes, as always. Usagi gets this really weird, happy, yet perverted look, look at her, which I thought, oh god, oh god, censors, censors, get the blinders for the kids. I'm just kidding. Enough of that, Jerry. The good factor of it is that they all work together to defeat evil, which is what a, what a senshi team is. And Senshi, for you guys, is a team anime. Much like Power Rangers. That's a very power Senshi anime. Well, a show, but everything was good. I can, you know, the previews for this, you guys, and the premiere is the Masquerade Dance Party. This is where the things and relations between, hopefully, Mamoru and Usagi, Darian and Serena, as they're originally English named, try to get to love each other more, understand why they're so quirky for each other. That love binds them like an unsurable solvent or a super glue of emotional stress and wonder. Oh, the love feels that'll happen there. So what do I give episode three? I give Sailor Mars Act 3 a 5 out of 5. Another great home run. Let's just see how the series goes and how far we get to the story of the manga. This is J5 signing off. Bye-bye.